Welcome to the Tuesday edition of Wands World and today I'm going to be making a meat pie but I'm going to be making it with fruit and I'm going to do this because uh, supposedly in the Middle Ages they made pies with fruit and meat together um, supposedly because the Crusaders had brought the idea back uh, from the Middle East. Don't know about that. I don't know about any of the uh, speculations about where mincemeat came from. But I like the idea that at some point fruit and meat were combined in what they called made dishes in the, uh, in the 19th century. And I've got here a uh, litho of a, a Christmas pie being uh, paraded into dinner. I think it's at Windsor Castle. As you can see, it's a huge pie. Like Christmas pies were a big deal. Uh, they were banned by the Puritans because they were considered decadent, um, and they were very elaborately made in the Victorian era, and often they were made to resemble castles with battlements and all manner of things. And Dickens talks about Christmas pies of this sort. We don't do that anymore, although we do make uh, castles sometimes with gingerbread. <laughs> like some of the the artistry has moved from pies to gingerbread. Um, and th the pies that were originally meat and fruit don't have any meat anymore. Like mincemeat, classic English mincemeat is fruit, mostly dried fruit like raisins and um, sultanas and uh, uh, peel, orange peel, lemon peel, candied peel of various sort, crystallized ginger, um, and suet. That's the last remnant of meat. So I thought, how about experimenting with making a meat pie with fruit to see if I can replicate something close to what they would have been used to in the Middle Ages. And here's what I got. So step one is to assemble all the fruits and you can see here typical uh, melange of, uh, of uh, dried fruits and, and peel and so forth. Uh, here in, um, in Cambodia I'm able to get dried mango and uh, dried durian which I actually don't use, <laughs> although it would be alright, dried papaya, dried kiwi and so forth, whatever. Um, plus raisins, put them all in a pot, splash in some brandy and add a number of what I call Christmas spices. That's allspice, cloves, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, mace uh, and also chopped up fresh ginger uh, because that's a little more piquant than, um, than uh, powdered ginger. Mix it all together and then let it marinate at least a day. That's what I would normally do if I was making um, just conventional mincemeat, but um, the big difference is there's no sugar in this. I don't know whether in the Middle Ages they put some kind of sweetener in there. Sugar would have been very expensive, but maybe honey, possibly, I don't know. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, if it's going to be a meat pie, there's going to be no sugar in it. The fruit is going to be sweet enough. So put it aside for a day. And then to make the pie, start off, um, you could use onions if you want, but I always use leeks these days in place of onions. Uh, so saute out, soften up a couple of leeks, and then add 
minced meat. In this case, it's pork. Well, I suppose you could add beef as well. It might be a bit richer or stronger. But I just happen to have some minced pork, so there we go. So get that nicely browned off and mix together. So then add the fruit and stir it all together. And then I added a little bit of pork stock. Um, and I also added some pepper. Um, I didn't add chili pepper because chili peppers are a cultigen of the New World. And um, in the Middle Ages, they didn't know anything about the Americas, but they did know about peppers along with the uh, allspice and ginger and so forth. So I added a certain amount of black pepper and then put everything aside overnight to just have all the flavors marry together. Then the next day I made a pie. Uh, I used flaky pastry and I would show you photos except that I had forgotten to put the memory card in my camera when I was taking all these photos and so I don't have them. Um, but I do have the finished product here, at least partially eaten. So you can see this is a, a nice uh, browned off um, pastry uh, bottom and top crust with the pie uh, um, mixture in the middle. And it was delicious. And I don't know how to describe it. It was like a meaty <laughs> minced pie. I mean, because it's about half and half you know, meat and leeks on the one hand and um, brandied fruits on the other hand, you know, so it, it was kind of like a mince pie with meat, um, ha but not sweet um, in the conventional sense. I mean, certainly sweet in the sense that the fruits have fructose in them, um, but but it was, a, it was a good hearty lunch. I, I had it today for... Um, uh, for my lunch, two slices, um, and <laughs> there's a lot of it. I'm gonna be eating it for three or four days, um, and I will do it again next year. I think I, I, it's not something I want to do uh, all the time. It's a very, um, let's say, cultivated taste, but it is interesting. So, if you like my videos, please like them please tell your friends please subscribe and i will be back on friday um, with the streets of phnom penh the the water festival called bonham tuk is coming up it starts on sunday so i may do a prelude of the streets of phnom penh on friday and then i will give you bonham tuk next tuesday so have a good week